what we're going to do today is what I call marbling sandstone. So here's a piece of sandstone in the raw. Uh, sandstone is, is, is great uh, to work with. It's soft. You can drill it um, uh, with a regular drill. If you, if you use a little arrowhead um, rock cutting drill, it goes right through, uh, which makes it nice and easy to, to, to base with so you can, can get a hold. What we're going to do today is what I call marbling. And so I'm going to raise that up just a little bit and get some color in there. Uh, it's just a quick, easy, fun process of, of changing the, the pink into really whatever color uh, is in your piece of wood. So today we're going to, going to use three colors, kind of a dark brown, uh, copper, and a red. So depending on how much you put in is, is how much you get back. Uh, I use Verithane almost all the time. I Verithane all of my bases, every base. If it's wood, if it's rock, if it's fiberglass, whatever, I put a coat of Verithane on it, mainly for dusting. So if it, if it gets uh, dusty after a while, if you do this sandstone or don't put something on it, you, know, you try to dust it in six months and it's got oily stuff on it and you can't get it off. So this is just an easy way. The Verithane also smooths out um, rocks especially. This, this one here has got sharp edges. If you look at this piece here, it had the same sharp edges, it just got covered with, with Verithane. So it kind of softens the piece. Um, tools that you need, Verithane, paper cup, either popsicle stick or a, a tongue depressor. And I'm going to do two different ways today. Um, so let's, we'll just get started. There's, there's two ways that I do this. One is, is to put the Verithane in the cup and then pour drops of, of the uh, arculic, what is it, whatever. Water base, water base, they mix together. But if you put drops in, do not stir. Just put the drops in. So another silly thing, I don't like to get very thin around the outside, so I dip. And then you have to make a calculated guess on how much that this piece is going to take. Most likely could pour it directly on, but this would be fun. We'll do this one, putting the drops on top, and we'll do the next one, we'll put the drops on the bottom, or drops in the, in the cup. So, we're going to change. We'll go back to doing the drops. Shake well on the Verithane. Do not shake it, stir it. Uh, on the paint, shake it well. And we're going to just put in... This is going to be our major color, so we'll put in maybe five or six drops. One or two of the oranges, and we'll put one drop of the red in. Don't know where it's going to come out, but that's okay. So, very simply, we're going to pour. And if we run short, it's not a problem. All we'll do is put more of everything out. Now, again, don't paint. Don't try to stir it. Um, just flatten it out. And it'll find its own color, I hope. Hmm. Oops. Sit still, buddy. So, I hate to say it, but that's basically done. We're going to take a little bit out of here, patch up some of the corners, edges. It is... Now what we do is, is just keep dabbing. Don't use a paintbrush. Take it out of here. Um, do the sides, because it's going to come out with the, the same kind of texture and spreadability. We're going to be a little short here. If you don't like what you see, 
and, and let's say that this is, is too much red, then all we're going to do is just drop a drop, hopefully. And just spread it a little bit. And it didn't do much. And here is the after, and here is the before. So we're going to take, this one got a, a lot of the brown in it. What we're going to do is just put the varathane on. And I think you can get the varathane uh, almost anywhere. I, I go to E and E in Marysville because that's convenient. Um, but shop around and it doesn't as long as it's matted this is is matted so it's as flat even though it looks looks white now it'll dry clear we're not flowing real good but that's a drop <laughs> and we'll just do one orange Red and see what it does. For whatever reason, this red really seems to be dominant. It, uh, let me just a second. Yeah, cool. So, all we're going to do is go back through, move it around a little bit, and voila! So, you know. Try to work the edge in there again. Uh, if we needed to, I would, I would just mix some more up. Should dry in four or five hours, and you have marbleized. That's the end.